Hello and welcome. I hope that you are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I appreciate your sticking with me as I'm catching up with these book reviews. Today we're going to talk about my third book for March, and it's the book that I selected for the yellow spin of the color wheel. And I usually like to match my clothing to the color of the spin that I had, but I really don't own any yellow, so I went with paler clothes than I usually wear, so I hope that works. And the book today is An Emotion of Great Delight by Tahira Mafi. And in this book, the main character is Shadi. And Shadi has been struggling. She's dealing with the death of her brother. She gave up a lot to remain friends with her best friend, and then this person abandoned her. And now her father is ill and in the hospital, and Shadi just doesn't know how to feel. She's in a very different place from her mother and her sister, and she's pulling away from everyone and into herself. In addition to all of these personal struggles, the story takes place in post 9-11 America. And as Muslims, the family is experiencing suspicion from other Americans. One day, Shadi is walking to class in the rain and a car drives by drenching her in water. Then it backs up and stops like the driver's going to offer her a ride but nothing happens. She can hear arguing inside the car and then it just takes off again. And while this sounds bad, when she gets out of class, the driver of that car turns out to be her ex-best friend's brother and he gives her a ride home. And maybe it's time for Shadi's life to finally come together. She is going to face her emotions her anger, her frustrations, and return to the world. She'll also realize who her friends truly are. I found this book interesting on a political level and a story level. We all have personal and family struggles to deal with through life, and we meet Shadi when she is dealing with a lot. Reading about how she deals with these problems and hoping that she's able to deal with her grief turns out to be an uplifting experience. What are some books to read for a similar experience? And by that, I mean we're going to focus on books where characters are dealing with either the illness or death of someone close to them. First up is Sunny G's Series of Rash Decisions by Navdeep Singh Dillon. Sunny's brother left him a notebook when he died. A notebook which Sonny is going to fill up with a series of rash decisions. He's cut his hair, he's shaved off his beard. Sonny does not look like himself. He takes his new look and goes to prom, skipping the party he was going to go to, but he's alone at prom and it's beginning to look like a mistake. Until Mitty a girl who is no stranger to rash decisions takes Sunny's notebook and takes off. Sunny chases after her and they are off on a night adventure full of rash and wonderful decisions. We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. Marin has left everything behind and has not talked with anyone from her past since that day. No one, not even her best friend, knows the truth about the final weeks. Now, months later, alone in her empty dorm room over winter break, she waves. Her best friend, Mabel, is coming to visit, and Marin is about to face everything that has been left on set. She's about to confront the loneliness that is her constant companion. We Are Okay is an honest portrayal of grief that will leave you longing to reconnect with those you love. And last is a book I love, Looking for Alaska by John Green. Miles Halter leaves his city's high school and his family and goes to Culver Creek, a private school in Alabama. 
Here he meets a group of friends with whom he lives and they stage pranks on fellow students. Then tragedy strikes and he and his friends must deal with the after effects and confront their roles in the tragedy. Looking for Alaska is a beautiful story which explores the impact one life can have on others. And there we are. I hope that you will give one or all of these books a read. I will be back very soon with our final book for March, House of Yesterday by Deba Zargapur. I hope you'll join me then, and until then, I hope that you enjoy all that you do and all that you read. And thank you.